welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Happy Saturday. It is Saturday, so that means it is grocery haul day. I have quite the haul today and more exciting than that, I have so many new food finds, so many. I went to Walmart grocery pickup as always, Trader Joe's as always, Target, and also just stopped by Natural Grocers, which is kind of like our version of Sprouts or Whole Foods because we don't have either of those stores here. So I went there mainly for my cottage cheese, but of course I found a few new items that I'm really excited about there as well. So without further ado, let's jump into this week's grocery haul. So here is this week's grocery haul. Again, I took advantage of Walmart grocery pickup, stopped by Natural Grocers, which is kind of like our Whole Foods or Sprouts, Target, and Trader Joe's, per the usual, for produce. I have tons of new food finds, you guys. I'm so excited. So let's jump into this week's grocery haul. Because it's 104 out, I'm gonna get these in the freezer. So first I picked up some Yasso bars. You guys know I really, really like these. I don't love the ingredients, but I love the points and the calories and the taste. So, you know, 90, 10. So I grabbed these chocolate chip cookie dough bars and then also the mint chocolate chip. And just so you guys know, right now at Target, they have the Yasso bars, two for $7. And then there's an extra 20% off coupon. I also found the pineapple spindrift at Target. I've actually never seen the pineapple flavor and I love spindrift. It is one of the only seltzer waters on the market that does not have natural flavors. I love all the other ones, so I am excited to try this one. I also grabbed at Natural Grocers some Zevia. Now you guys know this is my favorite pop alternative because it doesn't have caramel color. It does have natural flavor, but that, you know, lesser of two evils. So I've never tried the orange, so I grabbed one of those. These were 99 cents a can. Normally I pay $5 for a six pack, so pretty comparable. I did grab a grape and then I grabbed black cherry. I've actually never seen any of these flavors before, so I'm excited about that. I grabbed some Mission Extra Thin Corn Tortillas. This is for a dinner recipe, as well as some Olay Extreme Wellness. My Walmart does not carry the La Tortilla Factory. These are not as clean, not even close, but they'll do in a pinch, and I will make sure I pick up La Tortilla Factory at Kroger, which is where I usually find those. And then under here, I have a graham cracker crust, because you guys, I am making a stellar dessert recipe and meal prep on Monday, so definitely stay tuned for that. I grabbed some diced ham. This is for my husband. I'm making his pasta salad that he really likes. It is not point friendly, does not have very good ingredients. So I'm actually gonna make that for him either today or tomorrow, he has requested that. And then for that recipe, I needed some Colby Jack cheese, just a small brick, so I picked that up. Now this is a new food find. I found this at Target. I was actually hungry, and you know what they say about grocery shopping hungry, but I was looking to see if there was anything I could eat on my way home for lunch, and there just wasn't anything, but I saw these. These are the True Grill, 100% all natural grilled chicken breast. So you can see 110 calories and 22 grams of protein. It was like less than $2 for this little pack of grilled chicken. It has good ingredients, so I thought that this would be a quick and easy snack, a big hit of protein, or it'd be nice to have on hand to throw in a wrap, or in a quesadilla, or even on a salad. So I'm gonna try this, so if you see this at Target, this is a great kind of pre-cooked, good ingredient chicken. And then tonight I'm gonna do pizzas. So I bought the Applegate Naturals Uncured Turkey Pepperoni. We really like this one. It's about a dollar more than Hormel. It's just a better quality turkey pepperoni with better ingredients, so I picked that up. And then another new food find, I found these at Natural Grocers. These are Nick's Sticks, and this is the Free Range Chicken. I'll put the points here on the screen, of course, because I don't know how many points they are, but this entire two-pack stick of chicken is 90 calories. And then I also grabbed the turkey, the Free Range Turkey. These are Whole30 approved, paleo and gluten-free. This whole two-pack is 75 calories, which I thought fantastic, and 10 grams of protein for the two sticks. So I grabbed those. They were on sale for a couple dollars and I thought, let's try these and see what we think of them so that we can decide if this is a staple in our house now. So I'm excited about these. My husband already spotted them, so I'm sure he'll help me eat these, but great source of protein for low smart points. Some Parmesan cheese for some dinner recipes. We go through a lot of Parmesan cheese and it is the best price at Walmart. So I always add it to my cart for grocery pickup. 
And then I decided this week to get the lemon and ginger seltzer water from Trader Joe's. I was also going to get the cranberry lime, but it had natural flavor. So this one does not. So I grabbed it and that's what made me decide to get the spindrift back there too. Um, so I could try it and I'm excited for the lemon and ginger. The orange one is amazing. So I'm going to give this a try this week. And this one is zero calories. So zero points. And then I did kombucha individually because again at Walmart, they did not have the six pack. I ordered it and they tried to sub it for flavors I didn't like. So I picked up three of the summer edition. You guys, this one's my favorite and I'm so sad that it will be gone after summer. This is the cherry coconut and lemongrass. It's delicious. So I grabbed three bottles of that. And then I decided to just get the big behemoth bottle of the ginger berry. And this actually has three bottles worth in the one big bottle and it's less than nine dollars which is really good because these individual bottles are three dollars a piece so i grabbed the ginger berry you guys know that's my very favorite and i'll just weigh it out on my food scale 16 ounces or one bottle per time i have kombucha and then i grabbed some mirin i actually needed this for a recipe and i've never been able to find it found it at Walmart. So I picked that up. This is an item I've never purchased. This is the Trader Joe's mozzarella cheese sticks. These are delicious. I was so hungry that I had one of these in the car. They are really, really good. It's that really soft kind of deli style mozzarella sticks. Delicious. Highly recommend. And then of course my shredded mozzarella cheese for pizzas tonight. And then I also grabbed the organic uncured black forest ham. It is also open because I wrapped a couple pieces of this ham around my cheese stick for a high protein snack. Delicious. This ham, really, really good. Highly recommend this as well. And then I restocked my acerola puree packets, these organic ones from Trader Joe's. I'm loving the tartness of these in my protein shake. So in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day, I showed you guys a new protein shake recipe using these packets. Definitely check that video out. I'll link it down below for you and I'll put it actually at the end of this video on the end screen because that protein shake with this packet is so good. And then my husband wanted ham for lunches so they substituted just a different kind of ham which is fine. So I pound 1.25 pounds of ham for his sandwiches for the week. Target still had their coupon for the Fairlife Creamer so I went ahead and just picked up another one of the vanilla so that I can just throw this in the refrigerator. Another fun new find is this Suja Juice. So there was actually, again, a coupon at Target for this. This is the Vibrant Probiotic. So it's purified water, strawberry, raspberry, lemon, and honey. Doesn't that sound great? It's organic. It has perfect ingredients. I'll put the points here on the screen for the bottle, but I thought that I would give this a try. It'd be great to have for breakfast or when you just kind of need to pick me up midday. So I grabbed that. And then a restock of green olives for my husband because he loves olives. And then I grabbed my favorite organic light whipped cream cheese from Trader Joe's. I need cream cheese for a recipe and this whipped light organic is amazing. So I grabbed that. And then I have some mild pico de gallo. Unfortunately, Trader Joe's does not have any organic pico, which is a bummer. So I ended up just picking this up. I needed it for a recipe. So non-organic it is. And then I did grab this organic tomatillo roasted yellow chili salsa so i shared this with you guys last week and in my meal prep i used this entire bottle in that taco cheesy meatloaf this salsa is so good it barely has a kick and you know i do not like spicy so i was really happy that this wasn't overly spicy so i picked this up again because i needed salsa for another recipe and then i needed just some canned tomatoes for some recipes this week so i grabbed the organic tomato sauce from Trader Joe's and the organic diced and fire roasted tomatoes. And then of course, four more of my Siggies, which I can really only find these at Walmart. So I grabbed two of the mixed berry and two of the vanilla. Love these. My favorite buns also come from Walmart because they are only three points and 100 calories. So I just throw these in my freezer and whenever I'm feeling a burger, which you know what, I think I'm gonna make a turkey burger for lunch today. I just pop out a bun, defrost it, and it's an easy peasy lunch. And then this sourdough bread. So you guys saw that I got this last week. It was a substitution for regular bread. My husband loves it. So if your husband or kids complain about the bread sticking to their teeth and being just really goopy, this is a great alternative. He said this does not stick to his teeth at all. So this is the bread we'll be buying from now on. So just thought I'd share that with you. And then for his lunch, I've never bought these either. These are the Trader Joe's organic, 
or not organic, banana chips. He wanted banana chips in his lunch, so I picked those up for him. And then a couple of new finds. So I have not bought Smashmallows in a minute. They don't have the best ingredients, but I have a recipe, a dessert recipe I wanna share with you guys in my What I Eat next week. So stay tuned for that on Wednesday. And it uses a marshmallow. So I wanted to try these, so look at this. Dark chocolate dipped cold brew. Uh, yes, please, coffee and chocolate marshmallows cannot wait so it is 120 calories for four of the marshmallows i think what i don't like in these is the natural flavor if i remember correctly but new find they also had dark chocolate dipped raspberry which also sounded amazing and then another new find for me and the only reason i got these is because they were on coupon and i've kind of been wanting i was going to get partake cookies to have as a sweet treat but i wanted chocolatey so i grabbed these snappers so these are milk chocolate snappers basically what these are is pretzels caramel and chocolate here is your nutritional information. Of course, the points will be here on the screen, but I thought I could have half of an ounce for 60 calories. So I grabbed this and I'm gonna try these. So new food find alert. And then a restock of my favorite granola. This, I have to say, is my very favorite. This is the Purely Elizabeth Chocolate Sea Salt. Last week I hauled the Good & Gather Honey Almond Granola also delicious but this one you guys it steals my heart it is so good i love the chunks of chocolate and the salt oh i love it so i restocked that another thing and i've only purchased this once so it is kind of a new food find for me that is these perfect bites so these are from the same company that makes the perfect bar i never buy the perfect bars because they're really high in points and calories but these bites are nice because they're small little bites of protein and you can have 11 pieces for 160 calories and that gives you seven grams of protein so what i'll do is i'll weigh them out usually half of a serving and it's a good amount of protein four or five grams of protein and it's a nice little sweet treat protein bite so I grabbed that and then back here in the corner I've got some light sour cream this is mainly for my husband and the last item before we go into produce is some more of the great value unsweetened almond milk I'm almost out of my forager so I think I may shop at Kroger next week so I can get some more of that it's my favorite but this is a close second and this one is super duper affordable so everything else is produce so I have a melon this is a cross between a cantaloupe and a honeydew I got this at Trader Joe's it's organic it was two dollars and 79 cents I'm ready for something different other than strawberries and blueberries I've been eating just a ton of those so I thought that this melon this cross between a honeydew and a cantaloupe would be good to try so I'll let you guys know how that is organic bananas I actually need this for a recipe and then of course for smoothies I did decide to grab some organic raspberries I think I'll be going to Costco next week and their organic fruit is much more affordable for a bigger amount so this will get me through this week and then I did decide just to grab a small thing of blueberries as well because I do like to put this on yogurt so I grabbed that some salad I grabbed the organic romaine as well as this one I've never seen this one at Trader Joe's this is the baby butter lettuce and spinach blend looks really good and I am making a salad for my lunches this next week I've been craving salad it's so hot that sounds nice and refreshing shredded lettuce for a dinner recipe some more mushrooms also for a dinner recipe and I think I may put these some of these on our pizzas tonight a red onion for tonight's pizzas as well as for a recipe tomatoes so I grabbed these I've never seen these at Trader Joe's these are the dry farmed early girl tomatoes so my tomato connoisseurs out there what is the difference of early girl tomatoes versus on the vine and beefsteak tell me the difference but these look gorgeous so I grabbed those no surprise some more organic lemons for water I grabbed radishes for my husband's salad and then whatever's left over I'll use to dip in that Kite Hill French onion dip because I'm loving that. How cute are these multicolored radishes? And that's it guys. That is everything for this week's grocery haul. And now let's jump into what I'm doing for my meal plan and what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So let's jump into this week's meal plan and what you'll see on Monday for meal prep. This is my absolutely gorgeous Cariel meal planner. I will link 10% off for Cariel down in the description box. I'm not sure if they have the spiral bound 
planners available due to COVID. They did have to lay off the majority of their staff. So they may not have the actual planner or the actual meal planners back, but they do have printables, which is also a great option to plan your meals. So I went ahead and figured out what I was doing for the month of August. I use the monthly calendar. So at a glance, I can see what I need for the next night's dinner. Make sure I have the meat pulled out of the freezer and all of the ingredients on hand. So this is the week of August 1st. I cannot even believe it, you guys, that it's August. That's crazy to me through August 7th. So today, Saturday is out to dinner. We always support our local business. It's the day that I use my extra calories, AKA weeklies. So I don't know what we're going to have for dinner, but we're going to be going out or doing a pickup. Tomorrow I'll be making healthy taco pasta. So you guys will definitely be seeing this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. This sounds amazing. Monday is sheet pan steak fajita. So I've been wanting fajitas, but it's a lot of work to make the meat, the vegetables. So I'm going to toss it all on a sheet pan, throw it in the oven and voila, we have fajitas. Tuesday is a leftovers night because I have been going to the 530 Jazzercise class which I'm loving. My really good friend teaches the class and it's nice to get that workout in at the end of the day. Wednesday, oh my gosh, are Applebee's quesadilla burgers. So stay tuned for these recipes in a video down the road. I'm not gonna spill what I'm doing, but it's coming out down the road. And then Thursday is chicken katsu. This just sounded really, really good. And then Friday we'll do leftovers. That way we can eat up any of the leftovers from earlier in the week. On the back of the weekly menu, I list out what I'm doing for meal prep. So for breakfast this week, and you will see these three recipes on Monday. So don't miss out on my meal prep video. I'm going to be doing blueberry oatmeal breakfast bars. So I don't know if you guys have seen those Belveda breakfast squares. That's what inspired this recipe for me is I wanted to make a healthier, more nutritious, more substantial breakfast. So that is where this came in. So I'm excited for that. Lunch, I'm doing a copycat Panera green goddess salad. So I've been wanting salad because it's hot. So I'm excited to do a copycat salad recipe. So you'll be seeing that. And then, and then for dessert, peanut butter pie, you guys. Um, hello, I am going to do this healthy, clean eating, WW friendly, calorie friendly. I can't wait to share this recipe with you guys. So definitely stay tuned on Monday to see all three of these recipes. Thank you for joining me on this week's grocery haul. I hope you are as excited as I am about the recipes and meal prep that is coming out on Monday. Stay tuned for my What I Eat in a Day next Wednesday to see some of this good new food finds in action. If you're new, make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. You don't want to miss a single video. Give this one a big thumbs up. That way I know you love these grocery hauls. And of course, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think of my new food finds and which recipe you are most excited to see in meal prep or just throughout the next week. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me on this beautiful Saturday. Enjoy your day and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.